Hey guys, it's Dr. Jowler back with another review. This time on the Lego Atlantis 8060, ages 7 to 14, Typhoon Turbo Sub. I don't remember how many pieces it has, but it's 20 US dollars. And I'm sorry I don't have the box. It's because I lost it, because I got this for Christmas in 2009, I think it was. So, I'm sorry I don't have the box, but, um,. I do have the manual, which is a very important thing of the thing, the um, product. It's got 41 pages of building, no mistakes, no missing pieces, and it shows a main the main feature here, and it shows all the other sets: Typhoon Turbo Sub, Gateway of the Squid, uh, Neptune Sub. I think that one's called. I think that's Crab Attack. I'm not really sure what that is. Ocean Speeder or something. Shark attack one, and then the seabed scavenger. And it shows a little action scene. And you can see the features of all the sets. And here's a little sonar computer. It looks realistic. And it shows you all the minifigures and keys that come with the set. And then there's the Lego Atlantis.com. What you do with this is you go to this website. Atlantis.lego.com slash products slash 8058.aspx and then you pull it up to the computer uh, the scanner and it'll show the picture there's the pieces and that's about it let's go to the minifigs you get this diver I don't remember his name but um <clears throat> he's a really cool diver Lego I think this replaced aqua Ra aqua raiders I will get um, one of their divers for a comparison You can see Lego improved. Their faces aren't supposed to be peaks. So sorry about that. And that went kablooey. Well, anyway. He's got lime green flippers. So he can swim outside the submarine. Which makes no sense because he's going to get creamed by the shark. He's going to get stabbed to death because he, he doesn't come with any weapons. But, um, he's got Atlantis pitchfork print. New helmet design, a uh, new windscreen for his um, suit, two air tanks there, printed torso and printed legs, printed back, and a double printed face, which he looks pretty scared there. I like this face better, he looks more serious here. And next you get the um, Shark Warrior, one of the main reasons why I got this set, because I love the Shark Warriors. Comes with this Atlantis Pitchfork, which he's going to stab the diver with to death, since he doesn't have any weapons. But um, his torso is printed, same with his legs. He doesn't have any back printing, his head's printed. And an another cool thing is his head. This is one whole piece. It's amazing how Lego did this. It's a piece of art. And there's his torso, no back printing, like I said. He's cool. And you get this key. It's the sea turtle key that which the shark warrior is guarding. Let's go to the Typhoon Turbo Sub. You'd see here it's got these huge propeller blades. You could probably put the shark warrior in there and in one of your stop motion movies and jack him up. And probably make blood go everywhere. It's got some stickers. There's one here, there, here, and um, there and there. So five stickers in the set. But um, there's the lights in the front, headlights, flick fire missiles, which work very well. You get this new dome piece. Oh, and six stickers. There's one for the sonar there. Let me try to get... Come on, camera, focus. I'll take that off. There you go. You can get a better view of that without the light. And you also get another new piece right here. But um, the bad thing about the cockpit is you have to fit the diver in without his flippers or else 
and if you put the flippers in there, they'll slide out of these little holes down there. It's got the engine there, back engine, back propeller. There's a new piece right here. And the main feature of the set is you push this forward down here. And it goes into attack mode. And you can clip it in position if you want to. And it's got this flick fire cannon, which just hit me in the leg. And it's also got this claw so we can grab the key. But um, take my advice, don't flip this back when you have the key in the claw, because then it will go flying and you won't be able to find it. But... I'm going to flip it back. I'm going to put the camera down. There we go. So that's the Typhoon Turbo Sub. This is the fifth review of the countdown to the Queen Anne's Revenge. So I'll see you in the next review. Please rate, comment, and subscribe.